it's me again it's me you already knew that you already clicked on my video thank you for clicking on my video i appreciate that before you leave before you leave make sure you're subscribed down below we make new videos all the time and i'd love for you to join us every day so i'm here hooking up to a trailer right now it's been a little bit of a slow friday morning for us but i finally got something to do i've got a big old box behind me a van trailer we have a warehouse in winnipeg and uh some of our stuff is there and they load trailers there I need to bring this there. Apparently, we have a trailer that's there that's supposed to be here. And we have a trailer here that's supposed to be there. So what do you know the solution is? I'm gonna go do a little switcheroo and bring that one. Bring this one. You get it. I'm trying to make a very mundane, boring task sound interesting. Is it working? Oh uh, yeah, got out of my truck the wrong way again. Believe me, I know. It's supposed to come out of your truck facing backwards. I get it. The big giant ocean here that I have to... Eh. How deep is it? How deep you figure it is? Is the water okay? Is the water okay? Um, oh, that's oh, that's pretty deep. I don't want to get a boater. You know what? You know what? Oh, whoa! Solutions. Gotta use your head. Oh, but I forgot my gloves. Now I gotta go back. All right, this trailer is pretty tightly tucked in here between the other trailers, so it's gonna be a little bit uh, tricky to get in here. Gotta think skinny. Tires are filled with air. Tires are filled with air. You see what I mean? Eh. Just barely. Oh, just barely. I couldn't even get through on the other side. Look at that. Anyway. Lights are all working. Lights are working. Lights are working. Lights are working. License plate light. Working. Working. All right. Let's see. Oh. That's a mess. Okay. Well, we're going to quickly sweep this out before we go. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what the broom is for. That's why I got it. Dum -de -dum -dum. Dum -de -dum 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 -dum. And remember, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Do you know? You know what I'm going to say? Remember to always sweep out the trailer after you're done with it. I'm just going to keep saying it. Eventually, everyone's going to hear it. And maybe, one day, people will start doing it. <laughs> Come on, let's drag our butt up here. Come on. Come on, Carl. All right. Uh, so look at this. Whew. Looks like styrofoam. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Trucker Josh on the job. On duty. Janitor Josh. Okay, I've got a good, got a good article and a topic of conversation for the comment section today. It's from cdllife.com today. And I think this one's a little funny. I got a little bit of a chuckle out of it. The headline reads, winter is almost here and these truckers are the first to know about it. You're like, oh yeah, cool. The article starts off by, uh, it was written by Wimberly Patton on October 13th, 2021. It starts, winter is almost here and truckers across the internet say that they are not emotionally ready. What? That's your job to be... <laughs> okay. <coughs> We've hit the middle of October in several states. This is obviously American trucking news, I guess. Uh, we've hit the middle of October and several states have already seen their first few inches of snow. So of course, truckers are the first ones out there experiencing it and documenting the experience. Snow. Mm. Okay, I'm Canadian, you gotta remember that. So this is a little bit funny to me. I mean, no offense. I'm not ready for this. Go away, shouts one lady trucker making her way through the Montana prairies. Am I the only one who gets this sick, sick feeling in their stomach when you have to go through the first snowfall of the season? Another one goes, I'm on my last day of home time, but I'm not sure how they're going to get me out of here with this wind advisory and winter weather, laments yet another lady driver as she shows off the lovely winter wonderland from her porch in central Colorado. Yet another driver simply shows a striking winter scene as they make their way through Lookout Pass just before Butte, Montana. If you want to see this article, you can go to cdllife.com. It was posted, like I said, on October 13th. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, get ready out there because winter 
is coming. Oh, that was the whole article. I'm sorry. If you want to go and see the pictures, uh, go ahead and go check them out on the website there. But uh, how are you feeling about this, about winter in general? Up here in Canada, it's just another season. The first snowfall of the season, you're like, huh. Oh man, winter's here. And you keep driving. You don't stop. You don't think about it. You're just, you just go through. It's just part of life up here. But I guess when you're in a place like in the US where you have climates in different regions that don't see snow, and then they come up to areas that do see snow, it's a bigger thing for them because they're not used to it. That's not how they were raised. They didn't grow up with snow around them all the time. So to them, it may be a bit of a bigger issue. Like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Up here in Canada, it's just, it's another day of trucking, my skiver. Let me know what you think of this winter weather. Have you seen snow yet? Was it bad? Like, don't get me wrong, there's some bad winter weather in the US that would make me shut down as well. It would make me park. I don't think I would say that I'm emotionally traumatized by it or I'm not emotionally ready for it. It's a fact of life, winter is coming. So I guess emotionally, I'm just naturally ready because I know it's coming. How about you? Did you grow up in a climate that does not have snow? And uh, how would it affect you? I don't want to diminish the, uh, the effect it has on people. Some people it obviously has an emotional toll on because they, they're, they're not ready for it. Are you ready for it? Have you seen it? Let me know. Talk to me down in the comment section. Let me know if you've seen snow yet or if you have ever. And if you haven't ever seen snow in your life, definitely leave me a comment. Tell me where you are and uh, how can I get there? All right, all right. It's time to get going here. Trailer is attached. It's coming with us. The brakes are now releasing. Fantastic. I don't want to go too fast across this muddy lot here because the less mud that I spray up onto my truck, the less I have to wipe off later. This trailer I'm pulling is actually pretty clean too. It looks like it's been washed recently. Wow. We don't have a wash bay on our yard here, unfortunately. I, I wish we did. And I'm sure in the future one day we will. Uh, but there are other priorities first. But for now, we, uh, we wash our trucks at third-party locations, sort of like Blue Beacon, stuff like that. We have an account at a place in Winnipeg as well, and uh, that's how we get our trucks washed. We also have a mobile wash uh, business that comes here and washes our equipment here as well. It's just they can't be here every day, unfortunately. So It's a constant struggle keeping your units clean, especially in uh, the coming winter season that we were just talking about. Very hard. So it's not raining right now anymore. It's supposed to get better as the weekend gets closer. So throughout the day, but the roads are still very wet. I'm not gonna make a left turn here and try to get across traffic without causing any problems. There's a car coming from our left. I'm gonna wait for him, unless they're turning. No, they're going straight. No, they're turning. No, going straight, going straight. And we're off. There's one pickup turning here without a signal, that's why I was confused. It's very hard to get on the same brain wavelength as people so that I can read their minds when they're not using their signal. Alright, let's go. Get into my appropriate lane. I got my don't crash into me, I'm going slow signals on. Winnipeg construction, it never ends. You know, our construction on Brant Street and Steinbach is over. All they gotta do is the finishing touches. Steinbach is always very well with 
getting a project done before winter, or getting a project done within the time frame that they said it would be done. It seems that Winnipeg struggles with that a lot. Very often you'll see Winnipeg construction zones stay up through the entire winter, or go way over length, or way over budget. I don't know why, but uh, if that's part of the city management or the, the crews working here, I don't think it's the crews working here because it's the same crew that, like the, the crew that did Steinbach on Brassy, that was from Winnipeg. They're a Winnipeg crew, but for some reason we're able to get our construction done in the, in the summer season. I don't know what was up with this trailer, but they wanted that trailer instead. Maybe it's the old school logos. Maybe they like that better than the new logos. I don't know. I like the new ones better myself. I don't know, but they didn't want this one, so I'm going to bring it back. We're going to use it for something else, I guess. Yeah, those, uh, those logos on that trailer there, uh, those were the old, old logos before we got these new ones. Uh, we got these new ones in 2013, I think. So I worked here for, uh, since 2011. And uh, those were the logos when I started here. So those are still familiar to me. But I think in 2013 is when they completely redid everything, the whole image, new logos. We got a whole new fleet of trucks in that year as well. Uh, there were a whole bunch of, if I remember correctly, Peterbilt 386s. And then from there, we got some new Western Stars, and then some Volvos, and then some more Peterbilts, and then we bought Darkle, and then Darkle has a bunch of Kenworth T680s that are really nice and brand new Volvos. Uh, what are they, VNL 680s, or the, the big ones, I showed it to you, those big blue ones. Uh, so we have a variety of trucks uh, to drive here. Uh, I've driven them all, and my favorite is still, if I had to pick one for highway use, I'd want one of the Kenworth T680s, but uh, if I had to pick one for my own personal desires, my own personal bias, we have one uh, Kenworth W900, but I would want to own my own and totally customize it. But I don't know if that dream is ever going to come true, and if it, if it is going to come true, there's still a lot of time in my career for that to come true, don't get me wrong, but it won't be anytime soon. Right now we're gonna be in this truck for a while. We're gonna focus on getting this thing fixed up a little bit and uh, keep this thing going. Cause this thing is pre-DEF, it's pre-emission. It's good for a city truck. It's way cheaper just to like restore this truck than it is to buy a whole new day cab city truck. It's half the price if you want to completely restore this truck. And <coughs> excuse me. Even if you wanted to restore it into a complete show truck, that uh, would be much, much, much cheaper than uh, buying a brand new, just standard day cab. And uh, we'll just rebuild the engine, get this thing repainted and stuff, and it'll go for like another 10, 15 years, easy. All right. Let's complete this mission. I don't know if they've got anything more for me today yet. It seemed like it was pretty slow. Which is odd for a Friday. Usually we're very busy on a Friday, but usually how it goes if we're slow today, we're gonna be really busy next the next day, which will be next week. Because a slow day is not very common. Not for us anyway. I mean that's why we're always looking for drivers. That's why everybody's always looking for drivers, right? Oh, look at all 
all the goose. The gooses, the geese. Look at all the goose. <laughs> you guys want to see me go out there and fight one? Well, it's not going to happen today. It's raining. I don't fight geese in the rain. They gone already dude I'd be in Mexico by now look at that beautiful sunshine see I told you it's gonna be a good weekend so Friday is over well the work day's over the weekend has officially begun it's very exciting very exciting for me I have no plans and it's gonna be great Actually, I do have plans. I want to, uh, I want to finish the, uh, the deck that I started working on. Uh, well, we got the main part of the deck done. I need to get the step finished. And that's what I'm talking about. I'd like to get the step finished this weekend. And I also have about eight or nine vlogs I have to edit. So that's going to take most of the day tomorrow. So I have a day full of work tomorrow yet. But <laughs> I'm trying to cover a little bit more trucking news in my in my vlogs and if, if you guys like that let me know uh sort of something that we can all sort of uh start a conversation around and uh, let me know if you know any other good sources of it my favorite is transportation nation i know the guys there and the girls they the i was on their show there the driver's lounge and they're great people and that's why i like to support them uh, they support me as well you can find my vlogs on transportationnation.com uh, i believe they're still up there i, I hope so <laughs> but uh, like I said, I know the owners there and uh, they're great people. Uh, they don't ask me to promote them or anything. I very, very rarely do ads uh, and promote people uh, for cash or something like that. I get approached by it all the time. Literally, I have emails every day of companies. Nike approached me last week. That's one of the bigger ones you'd all recognize. They want me to advertise their shoes or something. I said, no, no, thank you. I don't like selling you guys stuff. I don't want my channel to turn into a big, uh, you know, a big constant ad. You already get enough ads with the Google ads that keep popping up, right? I do get a cut of the revenue of those ads. So that does go to support me and my channel. We also have early release over on Patreon. That goes to support my channel and uh, supports, you know, when I need new equipment, like a new GoPro, these things are very expensive. I want to get a couple of other things for the truck yet, but, uh, you know, I only promote brands, companies that I believe in, that I know, and that I use myself, and that are relevant to my channel and what I do. So, you know, there's, uh, there's Keystone, that's relevant. Uh, Bull Snot, that's relevant. Uh, Transportation Nation, that's relevant. So those are three places. None of them have asked me to, to advertise or promote them. I decided to do that on my own. And I think I've cleared this up with you before. But uh, just so you know, if I do receive money for advertising or something, I legally do have to disclose that to you every time. So you would see something like hashtag ad in the title or in the description somewhere. And uh, you probably see a little thing in the top corner saying, this video includes paid promotion or something like that, right? So you would know, I have to tell you. So if I'm promoting something to you and you don't see that, it's because I want, I think it would be valuable to you and I've decided to share it with you. So I'm going to try to get a few videos done today yet when I get home. Uh, Britt is working for, she's going to be home in about an hour and a half, so I won't get much done because i got to shower yet and feed the dogs. But uh, tomorrow she has to work all day on Saturday. And so I'm going to take the whole day. I have to catch up. I'm behind, far behind on videos again. I got this whole week, so that's five videos. And I think I've got two or three videos from last week. So seven or eight videos and that'll probably take seven or eight hours so it's uh it's a full full day of work ahead of me tomorrow but as soon as they're all done they'll be released on patreon first and then they'll be released one by one so i get like a whole dump of like eight blogs on patreon and send them all out there and then i release them one by one monday to friday during the week that's sort of my schedule it's, it's been working for me recently and uh yeah, things are different on this channel than they used to be. I know, and I appreciate all of you that have stuck with me through it, and I welcome all the new viewers that are in here now. I know we've 
uh, we're making a transition. It's been a year now, and uh, it'll probably be a long transition. But hey, I'm in this for the long haul. I don't plan on stopping making my videos. And I appreciate every single one of you that uh, tag along with me every day. I really do. Uh, you know, these vlogs make life interesting for me. It, uh, not that it wasn't interesting before, but... <laughs> It gives me something to do and, uh, you know, it sort of creates a video diary of my life that I can go back on in the future. And it's something I really enjoy to do. It's like, a, I enjoy it. And this is the infamous Branch Street that I was talking to you guys about. Look at it. All done. Except for back there and over there at the beginning and end of the, the old construction zone. They have to fix the median where the traffic went through the median before. We're almost there. On time and on schedule. You know, I'm actually very proud of them. They did a really good job, too. You know, whoever organized this, whoever executed it, whoever got it all done, I believe it was Maple Leaf Construction that was here. Uh, and I don't know who organized this all through our town, in our council, and our mayor. Whoever, whoever did it, you guys did a good job. Thank you. Whew. Mentally preparing the rock star welcome okay i'm feeling like a rock star mm. but i don't look like a rock star do i mm. well <laughs> Woo! hey boys ow, ow. hi you i know karate now let me out i gotta poop oh hi you you again shabby see you always so violent He's, he's so scary. I just hired you again. Did you just give me a big hiya? It's hiya, karate. Here comes another one. Oh, tricked you. Tricky, you. yeah, you were scared, weren't you? Diesel's getting his drink of water. All right, my little karate commander. Take your skills out here, all right? Is everybody else here? You guys ready? You guys ready? Come on. This way, Frank. Frank, don't go back there. He always goes back there. Okay, good. Good. These little guys. My my wife's pride and joy over there. He likes to pee and do his business up front there by the furniture, and that's, that's not allowed. I have declared and decreed that there shall be no peeing or pooping in the front by our furniture. It's the law. And these little guys refuse to obey the law, and there's nothing I can do, but it's my wife's pride and joy. <laughs> I'm just joking, but not about the law part. That is the law. I'm just joking that I would... He's fine. <laughs> He's a good boy. Now, where'd the commander go? He's probably leaving a pile of goodness around here somewhere. Hey. Hey. What are you eating? You eating dirt again? Don't do that, man. Don't tell me how to live my life. He's a good boy. He's actually very well behaved. He's, he is our, he listens really well and uh, he is probably the best behaved one. But don't tell Weasel. Right, Diesel? No, I'm not your best man. You're a little bit of a wild weasel, aren't you? Super wild, super wild. You wanna see how fast I am? I'm super fast. You wouldn't believe it. You wanna see how fast? Should I run that way? Go. Be sure? Show me, show me, how fast are you? I don't think you know how fast I am. Wow, look at you go. Super fast. Chevy can easily, easily beat Diesel, but he lets Diesel win. Because <laughs> he's a good, uh, big little brother. Diesel's the older one. But Chevy's very respectful. Oh, Frank almost video bombed me in the back there with a literal little bomb that I better go clean up. So thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you uh, liked it. Hit the like button. If you did, I've got to go get the shovel. See you tomorrow. Or Monday, but maybe tomorrow.